Hi. Welcome to Just Trading. In this video, our team give you an analysis with the information we got after the closing day of February 21st, 2023. Our objective is to give you suggestions to trade with less risk and higher capital return. Remember to stop the video at any time, if you want to look at it carefully. Here, we show you an example of the stock's timestamp that you can find on the video's comments. You can click on the timestamp and go to the stock's details. SP500 ETF belongs to the bear high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Dow Jones Industrial ETF belongs to the bear normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. NASDAQ 100 ETF was a previous suggested short. Today, we suggest to buy it. Corporate Bond ETF belongs to the Bear Normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the market sectors table. There is a strong opportunity to buy real estate sector EDF. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 4.6%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $39.55. For a vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.06. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Energy sector ETF belongs to the bare normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of energy sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Philips 66 company. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 5.9%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $103.39. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.19. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. This is a new buy suggested vertical call option. On the table, Halliburton Company has a buy call strike price at $37.5 and a sell call strike price at $38. For this spread option, it will expire on February 24, 2023, and the estimated price is at $0.07. This is a new buy suggested butterfly option. On the table, Marathon Petroleum has two buy calls strike price at $121 and at $125 and a sell call strike price at $123. This spread option will expire on February 24, 2023 and the estimated price is at $0.41. The Williams Companies was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that the Williams Companies is a bare normal class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 0.6%. You may expect now a buy return of 6.2%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $32.69. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $30.79, unless it's undervalued. Financial sector ETF belongs to the bear high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock stable of financial sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy BlackRock. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 3.5%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $721.96. For a vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.24. On the other hand, there is a weak opportunity to sell PayPal holdings. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 1.7%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $74.41. For a vertical put option, 
an estimated price is at $0.61. American International G was a previous suggested short stock. Today, we suggest to buy it. Morgan Stanley is a mild buy suggestion. It is on a trade low class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of half a percent. You may expect now a buy return of 3.2%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $97.82. But we expect a possible buy price of $95.59. In addition, we suggest to stop buying Morgan Stanley. If it is below 1.45% of your stock price trade, Wells Fargo was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Wells Fargo is a trade low class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 0.9%. You may expect now a sell return of 0.6%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $45.96, but we expect a possible buy price of $45.93. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $48.03, unless is overvalued. Real estate sector ETF belongs to the bear high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of real estate sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Simon Property Group. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 5.3%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $122.02. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.45. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Healthcare sector ETF belongs to the bear normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of healthcare sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell Medtronic PLC. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 1.5%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $84.89. For a vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0.3. Industrial sector ETF belongs to the bear high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of industrial sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Union Pacific. You can observe. It has an expected buy return of 5.2%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $198.01. For a vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.36. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Three M Company is a strong buy suggestion. It is on a bear low class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 0.1%. You may expect now a buy return of 3.9%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $112.33. But we expect a possible buy price of $109.98. In addition, we suggest to stop buying 3M Company if it is below 4.05% of your stock price trade. Boeing Company was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Boeing Company is a bear high class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 1.5%. You may expect now a buy return of 3.4%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $212.6. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $205.52, unless is undervalued.
Honeywell Incorporated was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Honeywell Incorporated is a bare normal class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 0.7%. You may expect now a buy return of 2.1%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $200.94, but we expect a possible sell price of $201.92. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $196.76, unless is undervalued. Waste management is a weak buy suggestion. It is on a bull low class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of half a percent. You may expect now a buyer return of 1.2%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $152.84. But we expect a possible buy price of $151.67. In addition, we suggest to stop buying waste management. If it is below 1.50% of your stock price trade, this is a new buy suggested vertical call option. On the table, Waste management has a buy call strike price at $152.5, and a sell call strike price at $155. For this spread option, it will expire on February 24, 2023, and the estimated price is at $0.86. Material sector ETF belongs to the bear normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of material sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Dupont Dynamores. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 2.8%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $73.79. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.61. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Air Products Chemicals was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Air Products Chemicals is a bare low class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 1.9%. You may expect now a buy return of 1.2%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $280.81, but we expect a possible sell price of $285.22. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $277.08, unless is undervalued. Discretionary sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock's table of discretionary sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy the Home Depot. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 6.9%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $310.74. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.11. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Consumer Staples ETF belongs to the bull low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of Staples sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Philip Morris is a strong buy suggestion. It is on a bare normal class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 1.0%. You may expect now a buy return of 1.5%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $100.33, but we expect a possible buy price of $99.8. In addition, we suggest to stop buying Philip Morris. If it is below 0.40% of your stock price trade, this is a new buy suggested vertical call option. On the table, Philip Morris has a buy call strike price at $100, and a sell call strike price at $102.
for this spread option, it will expire on February 24, 2023, and the estimated price is at $0.6. Technology sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of technology sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Activision Blizzard was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Activision Blizzard is a trade normal class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 0.6%. You may expect now a sell return of 0.8%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $76.35, but we expect a possible buy price of $74.53. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $79.04, unless it's overvalued. NVIDIA Corporation was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that NVIDIA Corporation is a trade low class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of half a percent. You may expect now a buy return of 5.3%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $217.42, but we expect a possible sell price of $217.73. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $206.55, unless it's undervalued. This is a new buy suggested vertical call option. On the table, NVIDIA Corporation has a buy call strike price at $212.5 and a sell call strike price at $217.5. For this spread option, it will expire on February 24, 2023, and the estimated price is at $0.95. This is a new buy suggested vertical call option. On the table, Qualcomm Company has a buy call strike price at $129, and a sell call strike price at $130. For this spread option, it will expire on February 24, 2023, and the estimated price is at $0.07. Communication sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of communication sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Comcast Corporation. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 2.6%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $38.76. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.08. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Verizon Communications was a previous suggested short stock. Today, we suggest to buy it. Utility sector ETF belongs to the trade high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of utility sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Duke Energy was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Duke Energy is a bare normal class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 0.3%. You may expect now a sell return of 0.6%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $97.09. .09. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $99.7 unless it's overvalued. Bitcoin belongs to the bull normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. 
Let's look at the cryptocurrencies table. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Cosmos was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Cosmos is a trade normal class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 0.7%. You may expect now a sell return of 0.7%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $13.7, but we expect a possible buy price of $12.52. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $13.8, unless it's overvalued. Ethereum was a previous suggested short cryptocurrency. Today, we suggest to buy it. Monero was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Monero is a trade normal class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 1.1%. You may expect now a buy return of 3.8%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $163.63, but we expect a possible sell price of $168.93. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $157.7, unless it's undervalued. This ends the analysis of our team that gives you a good start on your trading day. Please, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share it and leave it a like if you find it useful. Thanks for following us. We hope to see you on our next Just Trading video. Bye.